Okay, guys, so this morning in the BRICS uh, Facebook community, there was a question about being able to highlight uh, attributes or sh show tags or whatever uh, if a um, custom date field is within seven days of the current date. So what they want to do is a coming soon or new arrivals or something like that. Um, and I'm going to show you a way that I would normally handle this using data attributes and um, a custom function in this case. So here's my example here. I've got a heading field and on that heading field I've just added a data field called data coming soon, uh, an attribute called data coming soon. I've got a echo function, it's a custom function. Got a uh, Unix or MySQL formatted date string. Uh, now that's important. So in Australia here, our dates are day, month, year. But when you're working with PHP, you've always got to work with a four-digit date, two-digit month, and then whatever digits for the day. So it's year, month, day. Uh, anything else will not work properly with PHP. It'll be interpreted incorrectly. So what I'm doing is calling this custom function uh, with the date I want to compare and the number of days that it needs to be within. So this is saying if today's date is within seven days of the supplied date, then I want this to be true. Otherwise, I want it to be false. So let's have a look at the actual DOM. So I've got that there. Let's look at the DOM here. And what I'm seeing on the DOM for that uh, heading, I've got data coming soon is true. All right, And that is because the 2nd of April, it's the 1st of April today, if I made that the 12th of April and hit save and come back here. Okay, now I've got my gray border. If I look at the H3 here, my data coming soon is set to false. Now from the brick side of it to make that style work, all I'm doing is on the CSS here, on my root, uh, and normally you'd use a class for this. I'm just using the ID level just to demonstrate this. Um, I'm basically setting a CSS variable for my border color. This could be a success color, fail color, whatever you want it to be. Uh, and then you can use it in multiple places. I'm just showing it as a border. So I'm setting my border color to my neutral trans 10, just on there. And I'm using the data attribute that I just created. So if my data coming soon equals true on my root element, which is the heading, then I'm going to change my border color to green. All right. And then in my border settings in bricks, uh, here's my border here for my color. I'm just using a raw value and doing var border color. So that is a really cool way to do it because in the um, CSS, all we have to do is override variables or set variables based on selector conditions. And then you can use those variables anywhere in the bricks UI. Um, for um, you know, changing colors, backgrounds, border thicknesses, you know, shadows, whatever it is that you actually want to change, uh, you can change just by overriding variables. Okay, now, I really like working this way. All right, so the attributes. So this coming soon attribute, that there we need to create. Now, I, I'm, I'm pretty you know, reasonably okay with PHP, JavaScript, everything. I've done it for a long time, but I still use ChatGPT as a really quick way of doing things. And all I've done, I've gone into ChatGPT, I've put in a description here saying, I want to, I want PHP to return true if a supplied date is seven days or less in the future. And this is the response that it gave me and checking that it works perfectly. So I thought, well, hold on, hold on a second. What if we want to, um, use uh, a variable date. So we want to pass in a, um, a, you know, within seven days, within 14 days, whatever. So the other thing I noticed is that it's in um, camel case, which I didn't want, um, which I didn't specify. So then I've said down here, change the function name to is within X days in snake case and change the number of days to be a parameter. And this is what it's given me. So ChatGPT is very useful as long as you give it good instructions and you know what you're looking at. So I've just grabbed that function there, created from ChatGPT. I've gone into WP Code Box. I've pasted that into, I've just called it test functions. Pasted that into my is within six uh, X days here, into my code box. Now with Bricks, the uh, if you're going to call dynamic functions using Echo, you do now need to specify those here. Uh, as this is just a test, 
Um, I've just chucked them into the same uh, code snippet. Um, I would generally put this sort of stuff into my trial theme functions.php or a uh, file that's been called from there um, rather than having as a code snippet. But this is just for a demo. So, uh, and this is an easy way to keep track of the stuff while you're working on it. And then you can copy and paste this into your, um, or cut and paste it into your uh, functions.php later if you wish to. But that there authorizes the function to be called. And this is the function. So all we're doing is from here, we're calling that function. We're passing in a date string, which is the one we want to compare and the number of days. Now, if you're using a uh, CPT or custom fields or whatever, you would just put in your token there for your uh, Metabox or uh, ACF or whatever it is to get that date string back from your uh, custom field. Uh, and the rest of this is the same. All right, so that's it. So it basically passes in the date to compare, the number of days, gets a new date time of the current date, new date time of the future date, which is passed in from your function, gets the difference, compares the difference, and if it's within, it returns true. If it's without, it uh, returns false. Pretty straightforward. Um, anyway, that is it. That is my go-to uh, for flagging. Um, the cool thing here too is that you can also use that to uh, use your conditionals. And let's have a look at the conditions. So if I went to the conditions and put in dynamic data, Okay, I could put in that same function in there because it's returning a true or a false. I can use that to either hide or show that uh, whole block. So we can use it to style blocks. We can use it to hide or show blocks all from the same function. Anyway, that is it. Hopefully that makes sense and is something that will be useful to you. Thanks, guys.